and welcome back to the Libibs booktube channel. My name is Kaylin and today I'm going to take you on another little free libraries tour which are always fun. Fun fact, I will also be giving cutting in every now and then after um, I visit the little free libraries to talk about the little free libraries more because the more that I was like pulling them up on the website, the little free libraries website, I actually found out more about the little free libraries themselves. I think it's great that little free libraries have such a story to tell like this was inspired by this or this is a haunted little free library so on and so forth so I will talk more about those later on in the video as well but I have my handy dandy notepad right here and I guess some tape and some other things but I have my phone, my notepad, and I'm gonna go hop in my car now and we're gonna go drive to some little free libraries. So welcome to the first little free library tour stop. We are at Old Town Coralville and this is one of their old schoolhouses. They also have an old town hall which is right behind. I think it's absolutely adorable and cute because you have brick, but look at their little like free library it is the cutest thing i've seen since sliced bread like oh, it is so cute and it's supposed to replicate their building right there which is just so cool so we're just gonna open this bad boy up hello oh my there is a bunch of books in here and nothing that really interests me um to say the least. There's just books upon books upon books upon books upon books upon books upon books. Oh my. You got tour books to Wisconsin. You got some magazines back in there. You have a couple kids books. But I am seeing no young adult books. Which is sad. This little free library is popping. So much in it. Um, I don't see anything in here that really interests me, so I'm just gonna shut this back and then I'm just gonna lock it back up and then I'm gonna talk to you guys a little bit about the history of this cute little free library, 1876 Schoolhouse Edition. Okay, so first up, part of the little free library tour, we have the 1876 Schoolhouse in Coralville, and this was originally put together by Zachary Rome, which was a member of the Boy Scout Troop number 207 for an Eagle Scout project. Like I said, this is a mini version of the 1876 Schoolhouse. It's just a little mini replica of that. And it was donated to the city of Coralville and to support the city of Coralville, Parks and Rec, the library, and then the Friends of Library. So next up for our little free library stop, it is inside of a food pantry, so I don't know, um, um, if we're gonna be able to film in there. I did not vlog in there. There were like four people in this small little room. And plus there were only uh, children's books in the little free library. So I took a little video of that, just sorting through them, just kind of straighten them all up, make them nice and neat. It's nice to see that they have like, please donate book sign, which is really cute. But other than that, at last I have found nothing in the little free library so far today, which is totally fine because I don't have a bookshelf quite yet. I don't have quite enough room to store all my books in my new apartment, so that's A-OK -okay with me. I kind of just like to go and like see which little free libraries have what because I didn't know if that little free library in the um, pantry was going to have children's books. I totally thought it was going to be like mass market, uh, romance, restaurant, those types of novels rather than actual children's books. And with the old schoolhouse little free library, I definitely thought there were going to be more children's books, more young adult, more like upbeat. Um, we're on a busy street as well, so you get a lot of traffic, but that one is more inside and you have to like get to it. You have to like walk in when they're open. Rather is that is just drop as you go. So it was, it's interesting to compare and contrast all the little free libraries, but that 
marks off stop number two on my list today so let's head over to stop number three next up i have the food pantry little free library which was so cute and adorable with the way it was painted i loved it the little bookworm uh food pantry little free library had another place actually in coralville at a different food pantry at the time and then moved over to this the coralville food pantry community food pantry it is being used by all ages and hopes to give some people food for their brain as well as being with the food pantry food for their tummies as well so you get fed both ways Ugh. all of a sudden it's starting to get dark and the wind's starting to kind of blow and I think it's gonna definitely rain um, there's clouds and everything so this little free library that I'm walking up to next literally was the hardest one to find yet because from the map it says there were two, one right across the street from each other, but I did not see that. So I kind of just like creepily drove by, just like creeping around, like looking for little free libraries. And I finally found it at the last minute. I pulled in the exit entrance because I didn't want to have to like retrace my steps like 300 times and try to figure out how to get around in this neighborhood. But I at last, have found the little free library in the area. There says there's two, but I don't, I do not see another one. The only thing that I can see is this one over here right in front of me. It has like apples, I think, on the side. We shall see. It's in someone's backyard at this park. Someone is mowing their lawn down the, down the way. Okay, little free library time. Here we go. So walking up to this little free library, I see like literally nothing in it. But there are more books than actually I have set my eyes upon. Ooh. It's starting to get windy, it might blow away. Little free library, it's cute. It has some apples on the sides of it as well. Um, I'm gonna open it up here. There's not a lot in this one. Um, there are a couple of books. Um, fluffy bunnies. Ooh. Sorry, the thing just shut on me um but anyhow there's some adult books some kid books and that is it for this one nothing interests me last but not least we have the rec center uh little free library which i couldn't find there were supposed to be two one across the street and then i found this one at like the last minute of trying to search and for our last one the rec center a lady loved reading as a child but didn't have many books to choose from so once she found out about lowell free libraries and moved into this home of hers she got so excited and invested in a little free library she also liked that it was really close to the city park which is in our backyard so that way it'd be accessible for all ages and all people and that was really sweet as well because it's like whenever i get into my adult years of owning a house and that sort of shindig i'm definitely going to be building a little free library because since ever i since i found out about them i really loved and enjoyed them as well i think they're nice to have around and i can't wait to like deck mine out like solar panels and all the paint and all the fun stuff so it just kind of made me think about myself and like what i want to do with my future little free library and it got me excited about that but that was the last one that i could visit because then it started to cloud up and then it started spitting a few raindrops i was still trying to search for the other free library and i just i couldn't find it so i just kind of gave up and went home well anyways that's gonna be it for this little free library tour this time around i know i didn't get to as many free libraries as i hoped and as i planned but it got really really windy and all of a sudden it got really really cloudy and just not fun weather out and then it started spitting some raindrops which sucked ultimately because i wanted to go to a couple more little free libraries today but don't worry there will be plenty more little free library videos in the future when the weather clears up and i can actually go and tour some more of them anyways that's gonna be it for this week's video don't forget to hit like and subscribe and comment in the description uh, the description here <laughs> the comment section down below and anyways that's gonna be it for this week's video and i can't wait to see you next thursday for a new bookish video